Ask me that again. You want to hear that country voice one more time? Yes, baby. Hey, Kennedy. You can't wear your life again. Yeah, it's that. <clears throat> Honestly, one of my favorite places to go is Seattle. Um, I don't know. The people are really nice there. I just came back from Brazil. I've always wanted to go to Brazil. It was so great. I went to Argentina, San Paulo, um, Santiago, Chile. It was great. It was a great tour with Work the World. And, I mean... Everywhere I go outside of Texas is a great place to be, okay? <laughs> People are very nice to us, and they treat us like queens, so I just like traveling. Of course, I like North Carolina, too. <laughs> you have it? You need to. Take a break. I encourage you, if you have not, if you have not taken a break and got outside of your state, please do so. Uh, not on the live, girl. Yeah. Hey. All right, do we have any more questions? All right. Hi. Hey, um, when's your music here? Like, there's no music, nothing. Like, I need it. I have to get some music. What's that happening? Good question. Kennedy, when's that music coming out? What is it? It's a drop date, girl. <laughs> Well, I do have a single coming out, and we are set to release sometime after the last episode. So you can be on the lookout. It's going to be called Moving Up. Yeah. The, oh, we have a... <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, after season seven, I was so focused on catching up in my personal life that I really didn't have time to focus on music. I feel, I always felt like, you know, my my gift was God-given, and whenever I was ready to use it, it would be there. And it's um, case in point. So this time around, I was really, really able to, <laughs> this time around, I was able to really focus on my music career, so to speak. So it's going to be nice. Okay, well, the mics are dead, so we're just going to keep on going. I actually have some questions that I want to ask you that are up here right now. Okay. So, one of my questions is, people in the back, you got to be a little quiet because we ain't got a mic. Thank you. Okay. So, my question to you is, what is one of your favorite songs to perform on stage? Oh, wow. I have a few of them. I, I mean, I just don't pinpoint one song out. I mean, I'm old school, so I really like a lot of Jody Watley, a lot of Donna Summer. Um, my favorite uh, my favorite right now is Living Joy. Um, it's called Don't Stop Moving. It's very inspirational, and it's a dance tune, so y'all can look it up. It's very inspirational. You know, getting up in the morning, knowing you don't want to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to clock in, bitch. But you can turn that tune on and it can get you motivated. But that's what I'm all about. Um, this, I'm always about motiv motivating and inspiring. So that would be like one of my favorites. Okay, okay. Does anybody else in the audience have any more questions for Kennedy? I have a question. All right. Kennedy, this season of All Star 3, if you couldn't be Team Kennedy, who would you be? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, who, like, who's left or out of everybody? Even if they went home, who would you, who would you root for if you weren't out there? Um, I was definitely, I was, I'm, I mean, I was definitely rooting for Chi Chi. Yeah. I was, I was rooting for, Sha I'm still rooting for Shangela, still rooting for BB. Uh, ben de la Creme. All of us, I mean, all of us work well together, honestly. And we work together to make a very good t television show. So, I mean, no one in particular, but I mean, I think we all put our best foot forward to turn it out. <laughs> so what? <laughs> he said so not Trixie. <laughs> I have, I'm reserved about that. I please suspend. <laughs> 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 
All right, do we have any more questions? Erica. Huh? We're back. <laughs> We're back, y'all. Okay. Do we have any more questions out here today? Barry, any more questions? Appropriate one? Um, actually, I do not have any more questions. I think you did a really good job. Okay, good job. All right, Kennedy. Well, I have some questions. Come on. Someone else has them, so I have them Yeah, all. we got time, bitch. All right, Kennedy. So, besides the season that you're on right now and your previous season, what was your favorite season of RuPaul's Drag Race? And why? <laughs> um, I don't really too much know why, but I did like season four with the trees. Okay. Yeah. I liked season three as well. And even season two was pretty good. Um, uh, five and six were okay. Well, five was good because that's the year that's, um, the Jinx one, right? It was, yeah, I think it was that year she won. But that's about it. I mean, I watched every season though, but my favorite is season four. Season four? Yeah. All right, Kennedy. So, out of all the RuPaul contestants, who would you sleep with? <laughs> Girl, you're talking about clean, yeah. <laughs> but you know I don't give a shit. I'm an open book. I don't care. I answer whatever you need to know. Um, who would I sleep with? It's a couple people. <laughs> um, I would sleep with Lanesha. He's hot. Real hot. Um, I would sleep with, like, that is so, that is so whorish. Sounds so whorish. Um, milk. I would, down to the ground. <laughs> Down, down, down. Um, Pearl. <laughs> That's my James Dean. I was calling her James Dean on the, on the episode. Um, we have a lot of um, nice looking men uh, on Drag Race. So, I mean, who would I sleep with? Shit. Let's have a party. <laughs> Turn the lights off, bitch. Oh, and Raja. I love Raja. That's my husband. Yeah, she don't do drag, bitch. She's not a drag queen. That's my husband, bitch. She just smells like a bag of weed. <laughs> All right, Kennedy. So, what would you be doing without RuPaul's Drag Race? If you were not on RuPaul or drag was not in your life, what do you think you'd be doing today? <clears throat> I probably wouldn't be doing drag right now, honestly. Because before season seven, I was struggling. I was struggling. And um, I lived in Florida for eight years. I came home to help my father before he passed. And we were in a bad spot. We were struggling. Times were hard. And it was like, I can't pursue female impersonation full time anymore. Although this is this is my passion, I can't pursue it like this anymore. I gotta find something else because it's just not working. Excuse me. So I took a chance to audition for Drag Race. And I had already made up in my mind if I did not make it on the show that I would retire. Because by then I was already doing it by, by like 15, 16, you know, 15, 16 years already. So it was like, come on. I mean, it's just drag race just slowed it down for the local queens to be booked because I I was booked. I I was booked out of town. Like that's how I made my money getting booked out of town in other cities. But because I wasn't on the show, they wasn't booking me. They didn't give a damn how good I could dance. They didn't care how good of a show I could give. If I was as a matter of fact, somebody in North Carolina, a, a owner of a bar told me because I wasn't on the show, he couldn't take the chance to hire me. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, it was just getting harder and harder, and I was like, if I don't make it on this show, I just I have to retire. I, have to, I got to go clock in somewhere, and I'm no stranger from um, corporate America. That's where I left. I was in the Navy before I um, 
decided to pursue drag full time. So I was no stranger to all, no stranger. It's hard work, but you know, getting up every morning and clock, clocking in, honey, I was no stranger to that. So if I wasn't on Drag Race, I probably would be doing drag. All right, we have any more questions? So, Kim, so, uh, I about to say Nina, but it wasn't Nina, it's got him, Jasmine. Uh, Jasmine Masters. So she said that RuPaul fucked up drag. Do you agree or disagree with that? It ain't working again. Here we go. Um, I don't, I know what you're talking about. And it was just a statement to grab your attention, which it did, but I forgot the content. So I really can't respond on it, but it wasn't a literal term in saying that she fucked it up. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't like she, it was, wasn't a literal term. It was just a statement that, you know, that she gave um, clear detail. And I saw the video, but I just don't remember exactly what it was about. But I do know it wasn't like literally. Anybody else? Did she leave you her You're so fucking nosy. And what did you do to make up for it? Um, no, she did not leave it for me. Um, and shit, I just tucked it out. <laughs> Porn. <laughs> what else? Why? Ooh, ooh. Yes. Praise him. Huh? No, she wasn't in it. Why would I? You're nasty. I love it. <laughs> No, but you know, I mean, like I said, we are human. We are not like, you know, supernatural people. We human, we are men, we have needs. And being locked up for so many weeks, we have fucking needs to fulfill. And I was so glad when she told me she had it. But the content on there was so fucking loud and you couldn't turn down the volume. It was a waste of time. <laughs> You turn it on and all you hear was, oh, oh. <laughs> Damn, I still want her to leave it. You're right, honey. I found ways. I found ways, honey. Where's she at? Any more questions? Just screaming out. We ghetto anyway. Yes. Um, was, was Rue really offending I don't think Rue was offended at all. She was more shocked than anything, just like, like we were. This was like real. This was unscripted. This came like out of nowhere. Because honestly, I knew my ass was going home. And I'm just being honest. I knew it was my time. I felt it. Hell, I even felt like the producer was ready for my ass to go home. But um, <clears throat> I commended her. It was brave. It was a brave act of her, you know, to to selflessly do something like that. I mean, I can do nothing but commend her. I mean, they don't show me boo-hooing on stage, honey. I was carrying. <laughs> because it's like, no matter how hard you, I mean, I, I put, since the first challenge, I put 100% in it every step of the way, and here I am, I'm only winning one challenge out of six, and I'm safe, and then I end up in the bottom, and what people fail to understand is that I'm not doing a bad job, it's just people are, they just seeing people doing a little bit better than me. So if you're not in the top, then you are in the bottom, and that weighs down on you. That weighs down on you as a, I mean, as an entertainer, like what more can I give to be recognized, you know? So it was all kind of emotions for me. I was I was all over the place. And those tears were real. That whole moment this past week was real. Anybody else? All right, does anybody else have a question? I'm trying to double task. Can you me? Um, okay, so Kennedy. Um, 
Real talk, did you actually win All Star School? Come on now. I gotta ask. I gotta know early. But why would you want to know that? Just because you're here. You're here right now. That's. I gotta ask. Oh, I know. Dun, dun, dun. Does anybody else have a question for Kennedy? She has I wanted to know what inspired your kitty on the last season. I loved your wig and they thought they were totally out of their mind when they said it didn't look good. I love that. I don't have a good question. I'll tell you. My Hello Kitty, <laughs> baby, I was 100% com um, baby confident in that. I didn't give a damn what they said, because I made that, okay? And um, my inspiration was simply what Ruth said, I mean, to make something that that, that said you, that, that, that described you. And from head to toe, that was me. I love things that spit it. I love anything that's in a silhouette. I love my thigh high boots, that's what I'm known for. I just decorated them up a little bit. I don't give a damn if I took every bow off the bear. <laughs> it was still my design. You know, so it was mainly the um, the inspiration was given um, by Rue. Yeah. And I'll do it again. I don't mind lip syncing, honey. <laughs> Whoever I'm lip singing against should be worried. <laughs> All right, Mr. Megan, please with your question, baby. Kennedy, up until this point, what we've seen of the season, what would you say your rose and your thorn are? Your favorite moment and your least favorite moment for you personally? Can you give me a saucer? Huh? A saucer, so I don't like sour cream. Oh, you don't like sour cream? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm fat, y'all mad? No. Well, my thorn would definitely have to be episode two. My goodness. That was like the biggest scare. But from episode two on, winning the challenge, being safe, being in the bottom, I was totally good because I don't feel like I was doing bad at all. I don't feel like I made any type of mistakes. I was on everything. It's just the judge's choice. You know, it, it was the judge's choice. But my biggest thorn up was episode two. It was very hard. I'm, they cleaned it up real good. <laughs> they cleaned that episode up right. <laughs> but it was it was really really bad for me personally because it's really hard to be in a situation where everybody expects you to be perfect and to be right and I'm human and I've been struggling with choreography since I started dance and I used to make the teacher teach it over but that was my thorn, and my rose would probably be coming back the next episode and winning that episode. And it was so much fun. And they cut a lot of funny stuff out, too. I was knocking the bushes over and everything, honey. I was <laughs> clown me. I wish they had bloopers. Because even the cameraman, the production crew, everybody was losing their minds. Yeah, I like improv stuff. All right, so I think we have a, you can hold on. I think we have a question over here for Kennedy. I'm going to eat him down. <laughs> hey, Kennedy. So I know a couple of the queens from season 10, and I was wondering who is your favorite and who you're rooting for for season 10. All right, so her question was, who is your favorite queen from season 10? Can you give me some side of pound for me? <laughs> of course, I'm rooting for Asia O'Hara. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Ooh, you cute. 
I'm rooting for Asia O'Hara, but I'm also excited to see all of the girls. They all look good and seem like they're going to bring something magnificent to the show. I, of course, I love Eureka, too. Um, that's my bitch. Eureka is my bitch. Um, I don't really know the other girls like that. So I'm just excited to see what they have to bring to the show. Okay, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, so we have a question from our lovely bartender, Rachel. Everybody give it up for your bartender, Rachel. Hey, Ms. Davenport. First, I want to thank you for your service in the Navy. Um, secondly, I was just curious, what's your favorite look that you've done on the show? Okay, her question was, what is your favorite look? you have done on the show, even the last season or this season? Mm. Well, the show ain't over, the so, no. Uh, well, my favorite look thus far would have to be the one that I made, um, the um, Studio 54 Inspired Challenge, the green. I think that was my best look. I stayed up all night, as long as they would let me working on it and it turned out fabulous. And I had Aja help me and Aja helped me and uh, Trixie helped me a little bit on it all. But it all came out right, girl. All right, another question. Hey, you said as long as it lets you, what kind of regulations do you have to make? Hmm? You can't stay up all night working on it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> As soon as I put a little bit of food in my mouth. <laughs> you get allotted a certain amount of time to work on it. They allow us time to work on it. Yeah. 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 Um. It's not, you know, it's a show, so you have to be finished in a certain amount of time. Yeah. Very Project Runway-ish. Huh? How hard and fast was? Yeah, every time. I mean, it depends on the challenge. It's a, it depends on the challenge at hand, how, what kind of time they give us. Like our mini challenges and stuff, they give us like 20 minutes and stuff, all this stuff be real. <laughs> but it's fun though, it's fun. That's what that's the part of being a drag queen. I mean, I've been, I've thrown in, I've been somewhere where I got a phone call and the show started at 11 and they called me at 10.30. But I'm going to get this coin. So I'll be ready. When, when I go on, or you put me last, oh, I'll be ready. No tea. You know, but those kind of situations just help you in the, um, the TV situations. All right, another question, Amanda. Kennedy, I have a question again. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I just want to know if you're going to be showcasing some new merch at DragCon, because I need me a So Fuck My Drag t-shirt. <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> That's definitely in order. Okay. I will have new merch um, for, um, during DragCon, certainly. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Hey, Kennedy does have some merch that she'll be selling. Are you going to sell it here? She's going to be selling it here and at 316. If you go over there where Buffet is, she'll be able to help you. All right, another question. How did you pick your drag name? Do you have any suggestions? All right, how did you pick your drag name? Do you have any suggestions for picking one? Uh, hold on. <laughs> Mario. <clears throat> I'm going to address that. My drag name came from my drag mother. 
I've had the same mother since I was 17 years old. I'm 37 now. And she named me because, she named me Kennedy because it's a unisex name and it, and it appeals to any type of audience, any type of crowd, and any person. So that's where I got Kennedy from. And Davenport came from her, from um, Girl Trouble, Don Davenport, Divine, the movie. That's where Davenport came from. Female Trouble, I mean, yeah. And Mario, my friend over there, that's over there at the table, he just hit me up in my inbox and he said, I thought your your advice for girls that started out was um, to not do it. And that is my advice. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> because, I mean, if, you, if, if you're starting, if you started when I started back in 1996, where there was pretty much no drag on television and no way for a drag queen to make money, it was easier for a girl to get known and it was easy, you know, to start doing pageants and getting yourself out there. You know, it's not you know, no social media and things like that to help your career along. It was kind of easier. But if you not if you have not already established yourself, I just wouldn't I wouldn't advise you to go to start doing drag full time because a lot of the clubs just will not hire you. And a, a lot of these young girls are doing just doing shows because they love it and doing it for free, which puts a hurt on our economy. The girls that are, you know, doing the girls that are full time drag queens. So if you have a good job, you will have a good standing with your own personal life and your own career where you can do this as a hobby, then okay. But if you're trying to pursue this as a full-time career, it's not worth it. Because it's, it costs more money, it costs more money to do this job than what you're gonna get out of it. Do that make sense? I spent over $15,000 last year on drag. That's on drag, nothing else. You know, not to say I still have to pay taxes on my land. I still have car notes. I still have house notes. I have two nieces that I was taking care of. I have a, a special niece sister that I take care of. So there are a lot of expenses on me. So. You know I gotta love what I do, okay? And that's why I work as hard as I work because my money is just not my money. My money is what I put back into my community and my profession. So if it's something that you really want to do, do it, but do it sensibly. I'm not having no shot right now. I gotta perform later. Can you come to the bar and we do a shot? Please come out, and I, I, I promise you, I always get to the club early. We can have a shot before the show. Okay? So now I'm going to hold you to that shit. And Mario, come get this damn food while you trying to put me on the spot and shit. Y'all don't worry. We talk like that to each other all the time. It's okay. You hungry? Or you good? I'm talking to you. Oh, okay, good. I ain't want to share anyway. None, you business? It's called none, you. <laughs> Any more questions? What time is it? Y'all better wake, make some up. Yes. So I called your pageant world a lot. Are you planning on doing he wants to know, he's, he's letting me know that he has followed my pageant career and he wants to know if I'm going to do any, any more pageants anytime soon. Not really because All Stars 3 is so demanding right now 
with the bookings. I'm not able to do anything national at the moment, but I have a couple of local uh, pages um, in, on the back burner for sure. Any more questions? Anyone? Try y'all to check the round and start talking to each other. What the fuck? Yes. My favorite. I don't have just a favorite. I love everybody. I mean, every girl is like every girl means something to me. But I, my my good girlfriends is Jasmine, of course. I have a key to her house, and I tell everybody that. Jasmine is my friend. I just fell in love with Detox. Detox is, oh, that's my girl. Shangela is my girl. Uh, Coco Montrese, Alyssa. I knew all these girls before Drag Race. Roxy Andrews. I knew all these girls before Drag Race, so we all have a special relationship. Latrice, Jaden, Kasha Davis, yeah, we all have great relationships, even if it's just a text here and there, it's a great sisterhood. Yeah. Anybody else? So who's coming out tonight, like really? Okay. Girl, I do. I'm just, but she just walking through like, girl, you better speak. Hi. Girl, you walk through like you paying me. Girl, girl, you have walked through, honey. I have to look back. Yes, I think it's going to be great tonight. I love Charlotte. I came through here last year sometime for the Divas of Drag show. Was it last year? No, the year before last. Yeah. Yes. What other Snatch Game personalities were you saying? Oh. You talking about All Stars? I didn't have any. Right. I was sent on Phaedra. And I was thinking about Jennifer, I was going to do Jennifer Lewis. I actually had the stuff to do Jennifer Lewis, but I helped and encouraged uh, Shangela to do it. I even let her hold the hair. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we help each other, honey. That's what I'm all about. Because what you're doing is not going to affect me. So I'm going to be willing to help you get whatever you need, whatever, help you do your hair, whatever. Don't bother me because I'm still shining. Regardless. What do you think about BB not giving Aja credit for making her garment? Oh. Where did we get the question? Repeat your question. When BB didn't give Aja credit for showing her entire look, do you think made it seem like she made it? What do you think about that? <clears throat> I don't think that, um, I think. BB should have given uh, Aja credit, but Aja did not sew the whole thing. She just sold the bodice and BB did everything else. So I think it was just, it was more of a collaboration and I do feel like BB should have done exactly what I did. When they, when they commented and complimented me on my outfit, I said, thank you very much. It was very hard for me. But thanks to Aja and Trixie, I was able to complete it. Thanks to the help of my sisters, I was able to finish. You know, it's nothing wrong with that, but it's to each his own. That's how she chose to do it. And it's true. She did say very little on the runway. Every challenge. Unless she was asked a question. So that's just how she chose to handle it. Like, it seemed like she was ready to go home earlier yeah. than when she, you know, that she last. She was ready to go home, bitch. Um, I can tell you this. 
The whole aura of the show for All Stars 3 is very hard. It was hard. It was challenging. Every girl came with their A game. I don't give a damn if they left the first episode. They came ready to battle. And it's like the longer you stay, the more your head had to be in the game. And it's like, it's just like preparing for a pageant. You don't know who is competing, and you don't know what the other girls got until you get there. So you at home, ooh, this gonna be sick. Ooh, I'm gonna burn the building with this, baby. Ooh, I got this, I'm gonna put this together, and I'm gonna make that, and I'm gonna do that, and turn it, bitch. Then you get to the games, and you look around and see what these other bitches is pulling out, you like. <laughs> Then you start looking back at your shit like, <laughs> that's how it is. And it's like, everybody can't deal with that. And you know, it's, it's to their own measure. Me, I'm like, oh, well, I'm gonna put this shit on anyway, bitch. You gonna be fucked up. Bitch, I'm gonna still wear mines. <laughs> yeah, that's me. But a lot of girls get intimidated and a lot of girls just feel like they're out of their league and that's how Chi Chi was feeling. Do I feel like she was out of her league? No, I did, no, I do not. I just think it was something, it was a mental thing with her. And um, in so many ways, you know, the way she, you have to know Chi Chi to know that it's not bothering her, but she she's real and she's honest with herself. So if at that time you feel like, oh, I can't go no further, bitch, I'm going to believe you. I'm going to hold you down as much as I can. I'm going to save you as much as I can because you mine. You my girl. So if at that point when you say, you know what, I can't do no more, I already see it, and I know I got to do better, what else does there to do but to let you go? So... But more power to her. That's the hype, but that's how you grow. People don't understand. When you see your weakness, that's what helps you grow. Because you know where you need you, you know what you need to work on. You you meet these challenges and know where you need to what you need to do from there. Yeah. Woo! Woo! I hope I'm not doing too much talking. Come on. So Milk, you know, it seemed like she was completely oblivious to some of the shit she was putting out. Yeah. And she thought she was on a 10, but she was on a 2. Did y'all, like, kind of check her and be like, hey, girl, no, you know, the, the little black shit in between your teeth, that ain't high. Like, did y'all check her and be like, no, girl, you're doing too much and you have too little. You have to understand that... <clears throat> What y'all see is what we don't see what's going <clears throat> what's going on during filming. We see a person's character when y'all see it. I just happen to notice the wrong vibe in the dressing room. You know? So that's where the conversation steered from. Was where I just didn't feel anything genuine because we worked together, we toured, we've been on the same bus for weeks at a time, you know, and if she just she just wasn't the same person. But as far as like the things that she was saying and how she felt like she was doing nothing wrong and stuff, we didn't know that until y'all saw it. So that was even more, that was even more hurtful. <laughs> we were like, girl, really? Wow. Yeah. It was a real eye opener. Just like Trixie. Why y'all get it, bro? Uh-huh. My toughest judge? Uh, 
Yeah, he was a dick. <laughs> he really, he really tried, Santino really tried to break me down. But I'm not that girl. Because he was talking shit and was talking about my Hello Kitty. And girl, I said, well, I stand on it. Next. Next judge. But, but he was, I mean, he was something. You haven't even been there. You haven't even been here, honey. And you just down, you know, downplay me. Michelle was hard on me, but she was also my defender. She also came to my defense as well. Um, Carson, I really don't, um, Carson, I really don't, like, blame him too much because he don't really know that much about drag. You know, old school and stuff because the whole season he kept talking about how big my earrings were. Bitch, this is drag. You know what I'm saying? Like some some of the compliments, cause some some of the the critiques was like, girl, what? What what else do you want me to do? And then because I mean then they was talking about my hair last week. That's what I was pissed about because I honestly felt like I should have won the challenge. Now this is the only episode that I feel like I should have won the challenge. Because I had a good time in the um, the recording studio with Adam, and I had a good run on stage. But the judges saw different, and I, you know, I'm not even bitter about that. But the only thing that you can tell me is you didn't like my hair. What? I didn't get it. You know, they was like, well, I'm expecting something bigger, and but. When I'm a part of a group, I was trying to be a part of the group. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to outshine my group. I was trying to be a part of a group, and it was supposed to be a pop group. So that's why I changed, I chose the color hair, very TLC-ish. You know, that's that was my look I was going for, but they didn't like it, girl. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love my little twain. I was a purple in my eye on the lip. Bitch, I felt sick, me, honey. I look like I had lost the weight too, bitch. Yes, you can see my waist. And my ass is real. Huh. Yes, it is. No pants there, boo. All right, you guys. Well, we are ending our time with Kennedy right now. No! But you can always go to 316 tonight to see her perform at 1030 with Buffet and Lily and Michelle. Wait, who's the other one? Oh, Malaya Chanel Iman, and I also will be doing a number. All right, so everybody give it up for Kennedy. And if you want to stay here for a little bit, we are having an Oscars party at 830, so stay tuned with Jack Dahlia and Shalita. <laughs> Can y'all turn that light off? Uh-uh. I turn all the lights on or something so everybody can be in the light. I'm just saying. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's good. Right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why can't you tell me you were going to lie, dog? It's Instagram. Hey, I don't know me and people shit. Well, I ain't nobody told you to run up on me. Hey. Hey. Yeah, just give him a second, baby. Our second chef just got in. Hey, right. Hey, Ruben. Hey, how you doing? You should have been the order. You should have missed that already. Mm, I did. This is the order I took out. I'm with him. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Just at our place and I saw you when you were there. Oh, yeah? I'm from Seattle and I'm visiting randomly. Okay, okay. And I was like, oh my god, what are the chances? Kennedy, two spots. <laughs> I haven't right. seen you.
Yes. So, I'm so glad to see you, and I love you. So okay. are, you like, are you like on like a tour? Like you just go to different no. Oh, okay. No. No. Just, just happy to be here. It. Yeah. Just flipped here. Cool. That's it. You're adorable. Thank you. And I love you on it. When oh you come into the car, I mean, let's come into the car. I love that you're like Seattle and you're just like, and I run into you here on my trip. Yeah. <laughs> Will you come into the show tonight? No. We just are watched you, it. Like I didn't know there was a show. Later? Yeah. You yeah. are? Mm-hmm. What time? 10.30. 10.30? We have tomorrow off because I'm on all today. Well, you have tomorrow off. Come to the fucking show. Right here? No, it's at 316, right? <laughs> 316. Uh, it's not too far either. from here. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh my god. So Come good out. to see you. I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you again. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, I didn't get to chat with you, and you don't know me. You just showed me other videos. Okay. I, was, uh, I, just, <laughs> I was like, ah, yeah. it's my girl from the Seattle. Yes. Oh my god. Well, well, I hope to see y'all out tonight since y'all out tomorrow. So your 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 performance is at 316. Yeah. We will be there. Okay. Awesome. Great. You're adorable. See you in a minute. Oh. <laughs> I bet you think you cute, huh? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. It's sure, we can do a shot. Oh, I miss you too. Tell Jada I love her. And I love you too. It's good. I'm full. I got some great pictures. Yeah? Yeah. True. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, enjoy yourself. I'll go over there. I know because I need to go and be trying to be ready. Yeah. And I can get you out whenever you're ready. Okay. okay. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to um, share my um, quick interview. Well, my question and answer here in Charlotte. I don't think so. I don't know. Hi, you okay? I'm sorry. You alright? We were gonna come meet you, but you didn't want to do it alone or anything. So I was like, oh, oh, girl, it's okay. I never, I never know. It's always okay. Yeah, sure. How are you, Claire? Nice to meet you, Claire. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Carly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're performing later. Yeah, at ten thirty. Ten thirty. Ten forty-five at the latest. Okay. I know it's hard to get her at 316 because it's hard to get her up the stairs. So I'm like, yeah, the stairs? Yeah, they usually yeah. fly the stairs to go over. I always love people that have like, a fucking elevator. They don't have an elevator. They don't have security. But they do, someone always comes and helps us, but we just always feel like, oh my god, I just think it's so nervous. I will give <laughs> like, a damn. That's my baby. Yeah. <laughs> All the order. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's so sweet. Yeah. Sorry, I wouldn't have let you go. I'm like, hold on, just like, I'm like, you know, like, no, like, I'm like, you know, you like, I have to come over and say, and say something because I admire your talent so much. And I've watched you, like, every single episode that you're in on this level. I'm like, I just want to have this. Like, it's like anything they throw your way, you're like, girl, yeah. bye. Like, We're definitely you know, something you just have, you work for it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And if you, you want it bad enough, you'll get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. Come, it'll come right when you want it. Oh, yeah, I'm an entertainer. So, like, I, I understand what it's like, you know? Yeah. We're both entertainers. Well, I'm a former stripper, but hold it. So. Yeah. Well, that's the entertainer. So, and I still do it. Like, till the day I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to fall on that pole. I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I, I love watching y'all because it gives me that confidence. I'm like, these girls know it. And I know that I can transfer that into my heart. Oh, yeah. You know? Yes, I don't indeed. Care. People, people call it trashy all the time, but, you know. It's not what they call you. It's what you answer to. 
That's right. That's right. I'm like, look, I know what I am. I'm a good girl. I'm right. just a little crazy. <laughs> I like that. around with that. I don't mean to interrupt you. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. You wanna? I'm good. You're good. I'll talk for a minute. Okay, okay. I'll be right back. I'm okay with that. No, you're you're good. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, we're we're just live. Oh, you're on the live. Do you have a live? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Trying to keep the fans abreast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got to get you up the stairs tonight. No. No. But it seems like if you get there early enough and get to a spot, you'll be okay, you know? I understand. Well, this is the perfect part now. You have to meet me intimately. So. I told her, I said, I'm like, look, if you want to actually go talk to her and, like, you know, get to know her a little bit, go right now. It's not like it's, like, you know, all that going on before it's all like crowded. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are all different, so, but you can never not come to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Like, she's sweet, so I don't think she's going to be like, no, no, I'm No, never, never. <laughs> My younger sister. My younger sister. Uh-huh. Yep. I love you guys too. Love Brazil. Can we take a picture? Sure. Sure. Don't mind. Sure. Love you in Germany, love you in Ireland. Oh my goodness. Love you too, Kimberly. I just saved the size. Yes, I have a show tonight. I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, oh shit, I hit my elbow. <laughs> Oh, 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 all right, we had a very, very, very special surprise to everyone for you. you. No, she you was your lovely you interviewer to tonight. Oh, no, I'm good. Can you do a little bit of work for you? Okay. All right, y'all, put your hands together and get those dollars down. It was fabulous. Erica, she was the U.S. event for the first time this year. Um... Oh, she's doing a number. Oh, shit. 
Okay. Uh, there used to be people eating around that. Sure. Yeah. Wow. Don't you give it up? I'm not going to I'm about to leave. I'm going to go and get a and at uh, 613. Alright, yeah, go over there. You sit right there and finish your meal. I'm coming out. Yeah. No, I'm full. I'm full. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be, we'll be over there. Yes, I'll see you guys tonight. Okay. I'll see y'all later. I'm finna go. I'm gonna go and get in drag, and I will talk to y'all in a minute. <laughs>